Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. And this is the first episode of Coffee and Bricks. It's called Coffee and Bricks because I have my coffee right over here and we will be talking about bricks. Welcome, welcome. Great to see you. If you are in uh, the live stream, please do join in the chat and I'd love to hear from you. Now, the way we'll be doing this particular show, I will be talking about a particular topic and then we will have a segment which I call Small Brick City Spotlight and then we will also have some Q&A. So lots of stuff mixed within this live stream will be going about 45 minutes. Uh, do say hi and if you see me, do say hi as well. I'm going to say hi. All right, it's great to see everyone. Uh, if you're in, please do say hi so I know that you're there. Skywarp, great to have you in this chat. Great to see everyone. Now the topic we're going to talk today is six levels of difficulties of Lego remarks. So if you're into mocking or remarks, do stick around for this topic. I'll be sharing my views on this and I'll also be going through the six levels of difficulties of the remarks and if you have any questions uh, you can ask them as well all right we've got quite a few people here g group lego the golden light trudy brick great to see all of you here and yes we've got everything working for this live stream if you have any problem hearing this you can echo or you don't see anything clearly please let me know in the live chat as well all right and who we have here is that a a a i tube is that how i pronounce your name uh da da 46 oh some new people i haven't seen before so it's great to have all of you here we're gonna let a few more people come in and then we'll start the chat uh, proper and just to let you know if you want to download free lego stuff do head over to smallbrickcity.com i know you've subscribed to the youtube channel but head over to smallbrickcity.com as well subscribe to get mini building instructions for this mini house you get book reviews exclusive video tutorials and posters and if you like to support the channel, you can do so in several ways. And the easiest is to head over to smallbrickcity.com slash shop or just go to the website and look for the shop and buy a few things. You can buy my book, Bricks for Small Places, Building Instructions, or even this Do Not Disturb Building in Progress coffee mug, which I actually have coffee inside. Let me know what time it is, uh, where you're from, and let me know where you're from as well. Uh, it's right now 1.33 a.m. my time. That's right, it's the middle of the night or maybe the beginning of the morning, and that's why I have the coffee. But I've scheduled the live stream at this time just to reach out to most people that I can in the world because I know for most people it is daytime for you, so it works out well, and I'm perfectly fine doing the live stream at this time. Who do we have? Christopher, thank you so much for being here. All right, and Spain is to me. So G Group Lego, you are from Spain. All right, so let's get to this topic. As mentioned, the topic is about the six levels of difficulty for Lego remarks. So what is a remark? So I'm sure you know what a mock is. That's my own creation and that means you basically build something of your own design or it could be someone else's design but basically it's not an official lego set and you create my own creation or mock as we know it now a remock is a remake a remake of a set or a remake of a mock basically it's a remake and this term i should give a shout out to joe mcleod iodale he's the one who came up with the term remock he's a subscriber so thanks joe for that i think it's a great term and really encompasses what i consider a remock you can of course call it a rebuild a remix uh whatever you want but i think the remock works best and uh, Remock has a very specific, uh, I think, meaning attached to it. So it's not just taking bricks and rebuilding something. What's important about Remock is that it must maintain the essence of the original build. So if you are remocking, let's say, the Lego brick bank, if you're to take down all the bricks and build something completely different, uh, that is not a Remock. 
to me, a remock must maintain the essence of the build. So let's say you decide to take the brick bank, which is a 32 by 32 stud expert modeler building, and you decide to remock it by breaking it down into a smaller building and taking the laundry mat and breaking it down into a smaller building. That's a remock because you're keeping the essence of the build, the design and the function. You're just kind of putting the bricks differently together or maybe you're giving it a color upgrade. So I'll consider changing the color of the bricks a remock as well, even if uh, you know the color is completely different, but the original build remains the same. That's a remock. So I hope you understand what I mean by what a remock is. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So. It's not a mock, but a remock, keeping the essence of a build. And I should mention, we're also talking about city buildings here. So personally, I don't build trains, vehicles, or Star Wars, or any other fantasy castles sort of deals, at least not yet. So my focus is on city buildings, in particular, building Lego cities in small places. But of course, a lot of the techniques that I uh, discuss and I create they can be applied for any Lego city of any size. So the principles are always the same. So what are the six levels of difficulty for a remock? And if you have remarked before, please let me know as well. And as you think about that, I'd just like to say hi to everyone. Omar Build Bricks, the Lutz, I guess, Lutz is how, that, is that how I pronounce it. Brick Brain, Cre Brick Brain Creations, SSI Studios, Quizzical Gaming, Jommy Bricks, no worries. I hope to see you later. The Woodshop Teacher, Alex Bricks, Zabadak, great to see all of you here. And Not So Ugly Guy, I'm sure you're not so ugly in real life as well. So six levels of difficulties for remarks. So let's go with the basic. And basically what I'm trying to share is if you intend to create remocks yourself, you can take them at the different levels of difficulty. Not everyone is an expert Lego builder. Everyone start from, starts from somewhere. So you start with level one, and as you get more comfortable, you get to level two, three, four, five, and finally six. So I hope that's something for everyone. So if you're new to mocking or Lego building, you might find this particular topic useful. So first, I think it's important uh, that we have some frame of reference. So I'm going to use a build that hasn't been released yet. But personally, I have my eye on this. I think it's got high remockability. Yeah, that's right. That's a uh, high potential to be remocked. And that's this set right over here. It is the soon to come out townhouse and uh, pet store. This is part of the summer 2019 release. And personally for me, I think this is one of the most attractive sets out of the city built sets. And I think a lot of people who have seen this do feel that this is pretty nice. So I'm going to use this as an example of how you can create a remark. So let's talk about the first level of difficulty. If you buy this set and you're thinking of remocking this, remocking this, what is the easiest way you can do this? Well, the simplest level will be to break this up. That's right, to split up the builds. Because if you look at this particular build, it's really two different builds. You have the one on the left, which is the yellow building on top and the brown below. And next to it, we have the obvious coffee shop and the pet store. These are actually two separate buildings, but they are designed such that they are really built solid together. Now, just judging by the photo, I can't tell exactly how it's put together. But if I use the Avengers Sanctum Sanctorum as a guide because of that set and they use the same technique to put this together, more than likely that corner base plate with the tree and the red chair, that can be taken out by Technic pins. And then you can actually fold those two buildings together and you can form one big building. So they're actually hinging bricks there. But if you want to do a simple remock for your Lego city and you do not want this particular build as one piece, the simplest way to create a remock is to split them up. So what you do is you take out that corner plate with the tree and the red chair, and you have to carefully pry up the bricks and remove the hinge bricks and replace the hinge bricks with regular bricks. And now you end up with two buildings. So it's really minor surgery. And I think most of you will be able to do that. And that's why I call this level one of uh, difficulty to do a remock. Just simply split the buildings in half. Now, I know some people have a fear 
of messing around with official Lego sets. They think, no, that's the way it should be. They have a purest view to when it comes to Lego sets. And they feel that, no, 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 don't mess around. Don't touch it. It's scary. What happens? Now, remember, you built that particular build from scratch. So if anything goes wrong, you can just rebuild it. So there's nothing to be worried about. And with this first level, it's really simple. Now let's go to the second level of difficulty. And that is to enhance the interiors. Now with most Lego builds, especially the newer ones, there is some interior detail. For these creator or city sets, there is some detail, but generally it's not really detailed. Not like some of the expert modeler buildings. What you probably get is a couple of small builds, like a bed, a TV, a chair, a table, and that's about it. So if you want to get to the second level of remocking, what you can do is to enhance the interior by adding in more small builds, adding wall decorations, but that means you might need to actually uh, remove some bricks and put in modified bricks. You can also uh, put in more tiling and put in more small build decorations. Now you can check out my playlist to check out different videos that I've done on how to detail the interior of buildings. So if you want to check those out after the stream, do head over to my playlist and just look for any kind of videos where I talk about detailing the interior of buildings. So that's a great way you can remark. It's not uh, deconstructing the build so you don't really have to worry about breaking the structural build apart. What you can just do is to add in the internal details. So that is level two. Yes, I've noticed that my camera has frozen. So I'm going to try to fix that right now. Let's move back to the slate and I'll continue talking as I put this back. Let's go to the third level of remocking. Now this becomes a bit more challenging because what you need to do is to complete the builds. Now, when you look at the picture in front of you, I can tell you there's no back to these builds. It's an open back because remember, it can be hinged and closed up. So one popular technique of remocking is basically to create builds, add the backs to the builds. And when you make complete builds, of course, that means you have to do the first level of remocking. You actually have to uh, split them apart first. And then you have to take extra bricks that hopefully match the builds and then make complete buildings. Now, this can be quite intimidating. It may seem quite difficult. So do not worry. What I suggest is split the buildings first and just work one building at a time. And remember, you have the original instructions. If you make a mistake, you can always rebuild the build. So my suggestion is just to work at one building at a time. Try to match the bricks if you can. If you don't have the exact same colors, that's perfectly fine. This is generally the back of the building as well. So you do not have to worry if you know everything doesn't match completely. And what you need to do is now fill up the space behind. You might have to Think about how the corners are connected to make sure it's strengthened in order to build up. And don't just thinking think about building a solid wall. Think about adding in windows as well. One tip is to look at the front facade of the building and try to replicate it for the back. So there are different levels even within this level. So if you want to complete the build to create a back for this open back build after you've separated them, Look at the front facade or the side facade and try to replicate it in the same color or different color if you don't have the bricks and build it solid. All right, so that's the third way of how you can increase the difficulty of remocking. Now let's go to number four, and that's to make the levels modular. Coming back to this example, just imagine if you've done level three, you've split the builds and you've made complete buildings. Now. The great thing about this particular set that you're seeing in front of you is that it's probably modular in nature. Modular in the sense that each level can be separated. So each level is placed together on jumper plates. Now, if it's not, that is fine. That is your chance to practice your remocking skills. What you essentially need to do is split the levels. And in this case, I can almost guarantee you, you can already split them. 
But remember, remember you've added in the back to make a complete build. So you need to add either jumper plates or just tiles on the back edge of the new wall that you've created so that it becomes a complete modular style building that you can complete. I'm sure you're still with me. For those of you who are really experienced in mocking, this might seem like baby steps, but I know that some people who are new to Lego building, especially in terms of mocking or remocking, so this may be more your speed. Whatever the case, work at your own pace, start with level 1, build yourself to level 4, and we'll now talk about level 5. This is level 5 of the difficulty of remocking using this as an example. And this is the tricky one because I'm almost quite sure that there is no access between the floors. That means there's no staircase, there's no ladder. I might be wrong because this is a brand new set that has not been released, but that's my gut feeling. I think that it is, uh, there are no stairs or no ladders. So what you need to do if you are feeling, uh, I guess, courageous, or you want a good challenge, you can remock this by adding in a staircase. If, if you're really new to this, don't add in a staircase. I think that you can add in a ladder because that's easier. In any case, what you need to do then is to replace the bottom floors of each level. So see that giant coffee cup there? So there'll be one level underneath it and there'll be another level above that. What you need to do is to remove that plate and change it so that there's a stairwell or a hole that the stairs can lead up to or a ladder can lead up to. Now, this is pretty tricky. And I know that a lot of people will be fearful for that. You would also need some uh, plates, of course. You will need extra plates for this because the plate that comes for the floor will probably be quite big, just judging by what I'm seeing here. Maybe it's an eight by eight plate or two four by eight plates that are built together. So what you really need to do is to take out those plates and replace them with smaller plates to create a stairwell or a hole in the floor. Once you do that, you have to add stairs underneath that lead up to the stairwell. So it is quite daunting if you have never done this before. I have done a video on how to create Lego stairs. So you can go through my videos or just do a search on how to build Lego stairs and that might be useful for you. So I've already gone through five different levels of difficulty of Remox, and I hope I'm st you're still with me. I haven't really looked at the chat because I've been talking, uh, but hi to everyone. I do see quite a few people joining in. Now, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And after the stream, also head over to smallbrickcity.com and subscribe to that website as well to get free stuff. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy any one of the items in our store. And for the countries that are available, you can also donate through the super chat. And that is basically the dollar sign you see in the live chat. All right, so now we come to the grand finale and that is number six. What's the most difficult way to do a remock? And that is to completely modify it. Now, remember, a remock is keeping the essence of the original build. So you're not completely taking it down and rebuilding it. You're keeping the original facade or key elements or functionality, but you're just making it a bit different. So what do I mean by modifying it? Well, there's several ways you can do a modification which can be quite challenging. Some people would expand it. They might buy two sets of the same build and they'll remock it by building two together. And one popular approach is to build a mirror build. What's a mirror build? Well, first you build the set in the regular way, and that is just by following the instructions. When you build a mirror build, you're actually building the exact same thing for the second set, but as though you're seeing it in the reflection of the mirror. So if the instructions were to say, hey, take this one by two brick and place it on the left-hand side of the base plate, you do the opposite. You put it on the right-hand side of the base plate. So just imagine you're looking at the build in a mirror. So it's a mirror reflection. Now when you get really professional, you can try to build two sets at one time with each hand, but that's really getting uh, at a more advanced level. So build one set first, and if you have a second set, you can build a mirror build, and now you can combine the sets together. And generally, I would say easily, nine out of 10 times, the Lego sets, when they're mirror built, do fit pretty well together. 
but then you will have to do a bit of rebuilding and changing things about so that they connect securely together. But that's one way you can modify your set. Another way you can modify the set instead of expanding is to go the opposite and that's to scale it down. And I gave the example of the Lego Brick Bank very early on in this live stream. Now the Lego Brick Bank is built on a 32 by 32 stud base plate, expert model building standard. But if you were to remock this by scaling it down, you can break it up to a smaller building. Maybe you think of building it half, so a 16 by 32 stud footprint. So you're taking the Brick Bank and you're squeezing it down, scaling it down, so that it looks the same, it's just smaller. So it will take some challenge, but you always have to build the original set first and then extract bricks to scale it down, keeping the original facade. And then now you may be left with the laundry mat and you can build that on a 16 by 16 base plate. And now you've got two separate buildings. So that's an example of a remock by scaling down. So this is how you can modify a build to become a remock. And of course, I consider this level six because it is pretty challenging. And if you have never done it before, you probably find it quite daunting. You might be, as I said, quite nervous because you're breaking things down. But just remember, at the end of the day, if you think you messed up too much or you aren't happy with your build, you have the instructions, you have all the bricks, you can rebuild everything. Do not feel discouraged. But here's a little tip if you're doing extensive remocks, as I said, expanding a set or scaling down the set or maybe combining two different sets, do it bit by bit. So generally for Lego buildings, when you take a building and we'll just go back to this particular image, you can see the build for any one level is about the same. So you could work from it from site to site. So when you do a remock, don't dismantle the entire level. Just dismantle one wall of one level at a time and do your adjustments there. This is so that if you do need to put everything back together, you can easily reconstitute that wall and it's like nothing happened and you can start from scratch. This is much better than just dismantling an entire floor and having loose bricks. And then you've got no frame of reference. So that's a little tip and I find that personally quite useful. I will only dismantle one wall or even one section of a wall at a time. Do my changes. If I aren't happy, I would re-put it back. And I start from scratch, but I save time and I also save the effort of just rebuilding everything all over again. So that's my sixth level of remocks and how you can apply each level depending on where you are at your own Lego journey. So what do you think? In just a couple of minutes, I'll be taking some questions. Uh, I'll try to scroll through the chats. I'll just say hi to a few people as we go. We have MPZ Lego, Tayshawn, hi, Bro Squad, Annie from Small Brick City, nice to see you here as well. I haven't seen you in a bit. Kawi's Creation. Kawi just did a really excellent uh, build. It's an art gallery. You can check it out on her channel, but after the stream, of course. Uh, we have anyone else new? Let's scroll. Mahan. I see Mahan. Uh, did you have a question? Let's see. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm missing everything up, bro squad. Mahan, mirror builds bring me memories. All right, so you did a Ninjago City mirror build. I can imagine that would be a great challenge. Uh, who do we have? Uh, Oliver, hi, thanks for joining in. Mama Bricks, thank you. All the way from Netherlands. And uh, I mentioned this earlier, if you haven't done it, please let me know what time it is and where you are in the world. And this is just to give me a gauge of uh, where different people are and whether this is a good time to live stream for you guys. All right, so I'm going to do a Q&A in just a bit, just a few more seconds, uh, but I'm going to have the Small Brick City Spotlight, which is something I'm going to show you. It's kind of a sneak peek just for you guys because you are tuning in for this live stream. Early on, I was on another live stream, and this is this Lego channel, Lego Le Maniac, and that's Lego Le L A Maniac. Now, after the stream, head over to the stream because he's doing something crazy. It's the fourth of May in most countries where I am. It's already the fifth of May, but for the fourth of May, because it's Star Wars Day, he's building the Millennium Falcon in twenty-four hours in one sitting. So he's not eating, he's not doing anything. 
Now, I'm sure he's eating, he's drinking as well, he's going to the toilet even, but he's actually building it all in one sitting. He's got a counter clock, people are chatting. It's going to be lots of fun. So I suggest after, not now, but after this chat, do head over and I'll give you uh, the name of the channel leads on as well. All right, here we go. Let's do a Q&A and after the Q&A, I will do that sneak peek, that small brick city spotlight. All right, let's do a question from G Group Lego. And he asked me earlier, what's the most useful piece when it comes to building modular buildings? So I guess he means just buildings in general. I think it's hard to really answer the question because if you need to build something, you need the piece. If you want to do that part, you need the piece. But you definitely need some basics. I can't say it's any one piece, but you need certain basic parts. I generally, for buildings, I do like to have bricks from one by one bricks all the way to one by eight bricks and a good collection. Having a range of these bricks really help to put together everything easily. And just as importantly, I find to have those one by one bricks to one by eight bricks is to have the same in plates. Because generally when you build, even though you put bricks, you also generally also have to have plates to connect everything together. Because one basic technique in Lego is to take plates and build it over joints. Or even when you're building layer by layer, layer bricks have to cover joints and then the plates will cover the joints. So there's no one piece, but if there's one tool, you definitely need your brick separator. So that's pretty uh, important. If not, you have to use your fingernails or you might use your teeth to pry out plates. Tayshawn, you hit 200 subs. Congratulations. Uh, you definitely deserve it. Uh, guys, if you haven't been to Tayshawn's website, uh, sorry, his channel, do check it out. He does excellent mocks. I think he really thinks about his builds and they really flow well together. And I'm always very impressed when I see his mocks. So after the stream as well, you can head over to his channel or just do a right click and open up his channel and hit a subscribe. Do him that favor. All right, what else do we have? A lot of people saying hi to everyone. Um, any more questions? Let's do the questions. All right, so here we have, uh, how do you, this is Mahan, how do you uh, Lego slide? How do I, I guess, how do I create a Lego slide without using the pre-modded piece? Hmm, I've never done that before. But if I were to do so, I'll do an easy one first. I'll do a straight slide. So that's pretty easy. I use hinging pieces and then the plates and then modified uh, towels with the right angle, the panels for the side so that no minifig kids can slide down and fall off halfway and die. And then if I were to do curved, a curved uh, slide, I'm not sure, honestly. I would have to think about it. That's a good question. But I would basically do a straight slide to start off with. What's my favorite Lego modeler building, including the Lego Ninjago City set? Uh, my favorite would be the Ninjago, the Lego Ninjago City set. I think that's my favorite just because of the techniques, the detail, the innovativeness. And if you know me, I believe in variety and density and no set, you know, really exemplifies that better than the Lego Ninjago City set. Let's continue with the Q&A. I'm sorry if I miss uh, any of your questions. If I happen to miss you, please let me know. Uh, Darius Dojo, how are you doing? Easiest techniques that look good. Tough question. Easiest technique that looks good. Um, again, it depends what you're building, right? Let's say let's, let's just assume you're building a wall. I think the easiest technique was to create variety. So if you're building a wall for a building, don't just use all one color. Layer it and my one of my formulas is to layer the bottommost layer with a dark colored brick followed by a light colored brick and then in between I'll put in a plate of a different contrasting color. So it's a very simple technique uh, but it creates visual variety in your build in otherwise what would otherwise be a plain wall. So that's why I consider easy technique that looks good. The I can't pronounce your name. Is it the Lutes? I really do not want to pronounce it wrong. The Lutes, the Lutes. In any case, you mentioned somewhere you have a different method of organization before I build. Can you explain or show an example? I'm saving that for a special video or a live stream. I have no idea what, but it is a big mystery. 
the way I've mentioned this before, but a quick recap, I don't organize and sort my bricks how most people do. I'm sure there are people in the world who do it, but I haven't seen that much. And it's one reason I can build fast. And I will show that to you one day. Da 46, how do you get your detailed ideas? Um, real life would be my biggest inspiration. I go to Ikea quite a bit. Uh, so if you go to Ikea or any kind of a furnishing mall, look at how they detail the interiors. Uh, personally, I, I do have kind of an interest in interior details as well. But more often than not, I just take the real life. Or if I can't see something real life, I would go online and look for videos or photographs and I would replicate that. So I generally always just replicate real life because in my Lego city, I believe in being as realistic as possible. Always keep a long nail on your favorite thumb, Skywalk. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a pretty... Uh, Good suggestion. Mock brick. Can you make a live mock building where you can, where we can give you tips and inspiration? I'm just not sure how effective that is. Personally, when I do my mocks, I do pre-plan. I do think, uh, and if you have watched my most recent project, which is the medical center, and I even showed in that video, I used my Lego creativity book and I actually sketched it out. So I kind of pre-planned it. So it's really hard to build uh, just live on the spot uh, to do something. At least I think that would be effective. And then chatting and building at the same time, I think generally I, I find it not very productive for live stream. So my idea for the live stream, and I call this coffee and bricks because I've got my coffee and we're talking about bricks. And the idea is I want something that would give my viewers value within a short 45 minute time span and I generally find the building and live streaming at the same time and chatting not the best conducive use of time but that's just my opinion so I've decided to do this format simply because it's different I don't think there's anyone really doing something like this or at least not that I'm aware of uh, with a central topic talk talking to you guys about mocks and CD building and I think it's different and I always try to be different and add value for you guys because I know your time is valuable Quizzical Gaming, hey JC, I want to make an elevated railway in my city, but I don't know what train to use or how to make it any tips. I am not a train guy. Unfortunately, there are quite a few people who do good trains. Uh, GJ Bricks, Gr Greg, uh, he's part of the BrickTubers network, which is a very cool network of YouTube uh, Lego YouTubers, head over to his channel and you can also just uh, try to engage with him and ask him, GJ Bricks. He's a train guy and even if he can't answer your question, he can direct you to the right channels because he, he really watches a lot of train videos. Uh, Alex Bricks, build an office. I've actually done that before. Head over to my playlist, building a mock from start to finish. I have built an office before. Mahan, JC, I'm really tired. How tired are you? And where are you? Uh, where are you based? Where are you in the world? Tayshawn, how do you add a link in the card above or in the eye? Uh, well, I'm not sure for the live stream. I've never done that before. But if you're talking about your regular videos, just head over to your dashboard and you're going to look for the tab called Cards. C-A-R-D-S. If not, just Google Cards and you'll find lots of support tutorials on that. All right, here we go. A frozen face. Are we frozen again? Ah, we're frozen again. Let me pull that out. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Let me just hit to the slate while that goes. All right, uh, here we go. I, what should I buy? Ninjago City Docks or the Corner Garage? Uh, if price is not an issue, I think the Ninjago City Docks, I think there's a lot to be learned from the techniques there and I just think it's a great overall build. But I think the cost is uh, much pretty much more than the corner garage so it really depends if uh, there is a price limitation for you if not I would always choose the Ninjago City but then again it also depends are you building this as a standalone display or are you building this as part of a Lego City if you have a regular Lego City then your Ninjago City may not fit in your city so you have to think about that if you have a Lego City 
Sleepy JC? No, JC is not sleepy. Maybe my camera is uh, sleepy. All right, Clorox Beach Bleach. Yep, it's 2 a.m. You cannot tahan anymore. Uh, for those who probably have no idea what he's talking about, basically he says he can't take it anymore. He needs to sleep. All right, uh, let's see who we have here. JC, remake your old office build, maybe. Why don't you build a gym? I have built a gym. Do check out my video. I have done that before. Mahan, I'm in the UK. It's been a long day. Okay, no worries. No worries. Thanks for joining in. I do appreciate it. All right. So tell your folks, uh, if you have more questions, think about it and you can put it down. But I thought now it's a good time for the Small Brick City Spotlight. And in this spotlight, uh, what I do is I'm going to show you a sneak peek. Now, it will depend from episode to episode. I would show you different things depending what I have available. Uh, but this time it happens to be a mock. And Gala Gade, I'm not sure if she's on the stream. I haven't seen her here. She's probably still on Lego Lame next stream. But she did ask me if I'll do a sneak peek of my medical center. If you have checked my channel today, you know I've published a part one of my medical center building a mock from start to finish and i basically built the exterior of the building but i can tell you now this afternoon i had already filmed and completed part two but no one has seen it yet so i thought i'll give you a sneak peek in the small brick city spotlight so that you can have a look at the completed build so you're the first to see this uh, even before the official video is out so hold your questions and i'm going to show you uh, what i have right over here for the spotlight mock and here we have my completed building. You might notice I've actually added in uh, something for the top over there. Uh, that's a sign for the medical building. And if you look all around, uh, you can see that I have windows and the interior has also been done. So I've actually completed this particular mock. All the detailing has been done on the inside. And if you look over here, there's a mirror image over here and you can see that as well. And let's have a look at the top of the build. I decided to add in uh, different builds for the top. Something I haven't really done before. That's a solar panel on the left. And so there's also electrical trunking going down the roof. And here we've got a really big cooler unit industrial size so i thought that would fit a medical center since they've got lots of sensitive equipment important equipment they always need powered now let's lift off the roof because this is modular in nature and you can see what i've done on the inside so it's completely detailed the center section that you see as you go through the main door that is the main reception area as well as the pharmacy and due to popular response I have added in a toilet and just outside the toilet there's a sink as well so I've towed everything as well there's even one chair for a waiting area I used to have two chairs but I gave up space for the toilet that's the doctor's consultation room uh, what you see there is a patient bed it's an all-in-one bed so you can hinge in any direction and we've got the doctor's table filing cabinet and now let's go over to the other side and this is my operating theater. I, I really wanted to build this. So what we've got is operating theater lights, very important. So that hinges up, built into the wall. And over here, we've got all sorts of things. We have a light box with x-rays. We've got, of course got the operating bed. There's a EKG machine, more machines all around. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and that is my lego medical center mock and that's a sneak peek for you and that is this episode segment of small brick city spotlight and uh, kawi creation says you have a thing for lego toilets actually you know what for this particular build i didn't intend to put a toilet because i there wasn't enough space and i really wanted to put those other things but there were people who wanted a toilet uh, they really wanted a toilet so it's the first time that i didn't want a toilet and other people wanted a toilet so that's why it's in but yes i do have a thing for toilets it's important that all lego cities and buildings must have toilets all right let's see we've got some more questions thanks guys for all the great comments uh we've got quizzical gaming a question do you recommend that i build my own roads for a city or should i just buy pre-molded roads 
I've actually talked about this in a previous video. Do check out my playlist on a mini city Lego build, something like that. And it really depends on the space you have. If you have the space, you can use road plates, the pre-molded ones. If not, use smaller plates. I always recommend a 16 stud white plate. But actually, I think the best is to use a combination. Because in any real Lego city or any real world, you have different roads of different sizes. You have wide main roads, you have smaller roads, you have, and then you have tiny alleys. So in my own metro city, I think that's a good example of me using different roads of different sides, sizes from the road plate to a 16 stud plate to eight stud plate. So you can also check out my metro city update for that. And you get an idea of what I mean by using different size plates for different roads. Sacred Bricks, how are you doing? Thanks for joining in. Tayshon, you're hungry, so you're going to eat. Oh man, you bailed. Uh, Paul Cotter, hi, how are you doing? And let's see, Mahan, you're still here, thank you very much. All right, Kawi, do you put the walls in before you put in the furniture? Yes, I do. So I always build my structure. Now, if you watch my videos, building a mock from start to finish, that's exactly how I build. So I always build the external structure first, and then I figure out the interior details. And then when I figure out the interior details, I often have to break open the walls so that I can put in the furniture. And that is basically my process. Now, for some people, they build and design in a digital designer. So they would actually figure that process out uh, when they build it in the digital design about and when they generate the instructions it then goes layer by layer so that's why they would build as they go along but the way I do I don't use a digital designer to design or build uh, my mocks so I like that tactile feel and I just like building you know the buildings with bricks and my fingers so I always do the structure first and then I go in for the interiors and break down the walls if I need make a hockey rink or a basketball court not very interesting i feel so i probably won't do that there's dojo do you have a standalone toilet in your city or are they just in separate buildings i do have one porter potty but that actually comes from one of the official lego sets but i'm thinking of uh doing some kind of mock for maybe a standalone toilet or a small toilet public toilet and i'll probably do that as a video as well because someone else has asked as well Let's see, will I ever make one base plate city? I actually have. Uh, it's also in my playlist, do check it out. I have showed how I built a city in one base plate. Man says he's tired, but not tired enough to leave the stream. Don't worry, I'm going on for just a couple more minutes. I wanna keep this particular uh, format of the stream to about 45 minutes just to keep it with a nice punch. And I'm doing this weekly anyway. Uh, G Group Lego, which is your favorite mock? Uh, I've got lots of favorite mocks. Uh, and I've answered, I answered this question, I think, every time I get on a live stream. And I always answer it the same way. I don't have a favorite. I have many favorites because every time I build one is my favorite. Then I get tired of it and I go on to my next one. But some standouts to me. I think my Shark Aquarium was pretty cool. Uh, I also like uh, my Pizza Hut. That that was something I'm pretty proud of. And actually the recent series that I've done for my police station or police post, the post office and this medical center, I think they're pretty cool as well. All right, guys, uh, one thing I'll just like to highlight, I know quite a few of you on the chat, if you're watching this, please do head on over to Lego La Maniac's channel. That's Lego La L A Maniac. Lego the Maniac. Head over to his channel, pop in and just say hi and subscribe to his channel. He's doing a 24 hour live stream where he's building the Millennium Falcon because it's Star Wars Day. Doing it all in one stretch, 24 hours. So I have a bet that he's going to pass out in 15 hours and uh, 30 minutes. And he's just going to pass out uh, on live camera. So if you want to see a grown man pass out while building Lego, uh, you got to head over to his channel and uh, say hi, tell him you came over from Small Brick City, just let him know that. And after you say that, you can leave if you want, all right? And then you can subscribe as well. All right, let's uh, finish up some of these questions. All right, uh, Manolis, yes, I know you're from Finland and you just got in here. Well, basically we're about to close shop, so you'll have to watch the replay. 
the woodshop teacher says, I really love using the LDD. It gives me a chance to build and rebuild without making much of a mess. Uh, now, do you use a AutoCAD uh, designer when you're at the woodshop? You probably do, I think. Do I need parking in my city? Well, you need parking in your city if you have the space and if you have cars. Make a warehouse where the sugar packets are made. Actually, that's a good idea. I have, I did originally want to do that for an earlier mock. And some of you who follow my channel would know that I was uh, working on a taco restaurant. And it was a two-story, half modular size building, 16 by 32 studs. And I was thinking of building a sugar factory on the second floor. I didn't do it in the end, but I will revisit this one day. Uh, when you least expect it, I'm going to show you a sugar factory. Uh, we'll be doing some more wilderness mocks like the campsite. I I might. Why not? I, I might give it a shot. Mama's Bricks, do you buy the small base plates at Bricklink or are they from sets? Uh, actually, most of the small ones have been bought on Bricklink and some of the older sets had them. I haven't seen the new sets. Now, we're talking about the base plates which are thin, right? Not the thick base plates. I haven't seen the small base plates in recent new sets. Maybe you can let me know which sets they come in. But for myself, I've always bricklink brick them. And we have the loots once again. He says, he just wants to say, I enjoy your channel the most. Like you said, you have a different view and talk about more actual building than most. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like the format. And I hope everyone who's watching this likes this format. You know, because I figure I've got lots of videos which shows me building, shows small build tutorials, uh, my mocks and mods reviews. You know, so I've already got all that content on my channel. So if I'm doing a live stream, why do I just want to replicate that? So I want to do something different, which is why I came up with this format. What happened to the skyscraper? All right. Uh, well, what happened to my camera once again? It's frozen again. Well, I'm going to unfreeze that. I think it's pro the reason why I think my camera is freezing. I think it's my laptop processor. I need to see if I can close apps while I run this. It's probably just uh, taking up too much uh, power or memory. Uh, but let's see, who do we have? Off topic, am I a DC fan or Marvel fan? Mm. Well, I used to collect comics before. I was definitely more Marvel then. Uh, I had a bit of DC. And I think now Marvel has definitely done a better job with their movies. So maybe I'd say Marvel. But I have like the recent uh, DC movies such as Wonder Woman, Aquaman and Shazam. I think they've been doing well with those. So let's see how they go. Mahan, what was your other question? No, I didn't see it. Maybe you can ask it one more time. Um, what collectible minifig series is your favorite? Don't really have a favorite. I just try to get them all. And uh, Alex Briggs, what happened to my skyscraper? It's still there. It's still alive. I just haven't done anything with it. All right, ask your last couple of questions. I am going to wrap up. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And as usual, if you want to support my channel, my site, do head over to smallbrickcity.com. Uh, you can benefit from it for free by just downloading free stuff if you subscribe. And if you want, you can just buy you know, anything from the shop and that will also help me and my channel uh, just to support it in a very little way. Alex Briggs, last question. Should I update my Lego Mock City updates? Why not? Update it as little or as much as you want and share it with the world. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm going to wrap it up for this particular live stream. You guys have been great. Thank you, everyone who joined in. And if you're watching this replay, thank you so much as well. well have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending where you are. And I'll see you in the next episode of Coffee and Bricks. Talk to you soon.